Hey, welcome to CDR Plus. We are here at Shadow City, our newest track, and I'm your host, Malice Mal. Today we have a lot of drivers geared up to blaze the trail today. It's going to be awesome. So let's sit back and relax, man. Taking driving from men like Wild Mike, Bolo Brown, and others. You sit tight. Diecast living is alright, just living. We'll be back. Well, okay, we have two door Tommy in the Roger Dodger versus Bolo Brown in the RX. Let's go trackside. Bolo Brown came out strong with the RX Savannah from the starting gate. Taking the first turn, the second turn, and commanding a proper lead. Tudor Tommy had some problem drifting off the track. Let's go to the second race. Winner, Bolo Brown. Good racing. Again, coming out from the starting blocks, Tudor Tommy looked like he was going to take it, but Bolo Brown experience in handling the corners took the race from Tudor Tommy in style. I guess it was the better handling vehicle of the day. Good racing Bolo, good racing Tudors. Well up next we have Chris Honeyfield in the Rastaman Porsche going against Johnny J in the IROC Z. Let's go trackside. I have to say the diecaster far right Chris Honeyfield, the old trooper man, make that Porsche look like it was flying. The IROC Z had no choice but to subdue. Chris win boy, good one. Woo! Chris Honeyfield you're on fire. It was excellent racing from the Chris man. But I'd like to extend a warm welcome to Johnny J. Hope to see you more on the track. Great racing, guys. Now we have Zelda Dicast in a Mustang going against Wild Mike of Clips in a Bentley. Let's go! With a good start, it was Zelda zooming off to victory. Look at the corner, look at the photo, look at the drift on the corner. I mean, it was dynamic. Zelda all the way. Some rough handling, but good racing. Zelda came out like if she had thrusters, but it was a DNF. Let's do this over. Let's head track side. With a strong start, it was Zelda taking the lead. While Mike was not giving up, he was nipping at his tails, at his heel, at his butt. But Zelda took it. Good racing, guys. Thanks. Now we have Big Cena Lambo Mura going against Robbie Schroeder in a RX-7. Let's do this. Big C came out of the starting gates like a bat out of hell and took it all the way. Can Robbie Schroeder bring back this one? Let's see. Wow, wow. Big C was about to go for the double. Look at him out the starting gates. But look, look here, look here, look here. With some experience driving and handling, Robbie pulled. I thought he was stalling here, but look at it. Take your time, quick and easy. I win the race. I don't know my enemies all been taken care of. <laughs> okay, now okay. Did you see that coming? I didn't see it coming. It, Ro Robbie showed her in the RX-7. In, in, in a killy killy time, took out Big C and take it two to one. Woo! 
Now it's Triple B in a McLaren versus Eco Boost in a Shelby. Let's go! With all enthusiasm and eagerness coming out of the starting gates, sad to say, this was a DNF. Come on, guys, don't bounce my camera, man. Let's head back to the starting gate. Well, experience is what Triple B is live on and thrive on. And you can see it in his driving. Man, that was some serious handling to take the first one. Let's go. I'll say it again. Experience is the greatest teacher. And Triple B, when it comes to diecast, is experience. Look at the handling. Look at the way he came down the track. Big up to Triple B. Yeah, man. Hey, we've come to the end of another sweet episode of Caribbean Diecast Racing. So from my family to your family, enough love. Go race in the street. Meet we on the track. Diecast living is a righteous living. Diecast living is a righteous. I love all yeah. Later. Remember to like and subscribe. Remember to like and subscribe. I go on.